All right, serious talk. What are we saying about the hair? I'm still growing it out, and I want to get all the controversies out of the way, even though there are none. I may create some. I'm just trying to do it up a bit. So, you want to react to Fred the Sexy? Uh, react to Bang Chan being a skinny legend? Bang! Bang Chan talking about being a skinny legend. Sorry. Uh, I have about a two second memory. So, we're going to watch six minutes, 12 seconds of Chris being cool as fuck. Yes. Make sure you subscribe. Help me out today. Try and get 5,000 subscribers. And become a channel member down below. It helps the channel and all the money I get. Gets back into the production of this video. Uh, of all videos. Bye now. Uh, anyway, no. Uh, onto video. God damn it. Oh, and also any copyright uh, uh, things will be on my Patreon. Link down below. Become a Patreon today. Hey, what is that, merchandise? It's gotta be in it. No, 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 Damn no. Damn no. Oh, no, I don't get it. Fuck's sake! Fucking come on! No, no, no! no. Don't fucking jump at me! What's going on? Yeah, One, welcome okay. to Chinese Room. We just finished our last day for our fan meeting, but uh, I had stuff to do here, so I thought, why not, before I get started, I might spend some time with you guys. Yeah, because it is a Sunday, and um, I gotta do Chinese Room before the, the week ends, because, you know, <laughs> That's the promise that he did. So, um, here I am. Do you know what I love about this video already? The fact that it's edited like this, this is, I, I'm sorry, but this is literally how I edit a video. I'm not even, well, I used to anyway before I, you know, before I wanted it to be a little bit more natural back and forth. I, I realized I need to stop over editing. So I have done. All right. This, all right. This is like old friend editing. And this is why I'm smiling. Of course. Yeah. Because I'm seeing a beautiful man on screen. Also, that does complement the issue of the current fluctuations of my controversies. What an up? Anyway, Jesus. And we are going to have another a great time. Yay. We came on your button, yeah. <laughs> there were a lot of people asking me, even like the staff members as well, why I lost so much like weight. Why not weight, but like why I look so skinny and everything. Ah. And um I don't know, because it's been like almost two years since, you know, we've seen you guys. And um to be up front, I wanted to show um because it's been so long, I want to show you guys the best <laughs> Chan that I could show you, that's what I was going for. The best okay. crits, so I went on like a oh. really, really strict diet. It wasn't that strict, but on a, oh, I went on a pretty big diet to try and cut down as much as I can. So I'm really, really skinny. Yeah, it was all because of yesterday and today. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start bulking again. Well, w when I do, I can't bloody wait for it. Because thing is, with the anatomy of this man is literally he's a lot like like chang bin where he could just go from like eat a bowl of salads like wasting away in his chair to next minute being like this guy <laughs> literally he could be like he literally has the genetics to do so and this is what i'm talking about people i can't wait for it it's completely his like choice to do these things to lose so much weight and then bulk back up trying to eat more the burn it then gain muscle so you're putting your body onto under so much pressure to just adapt like that but what he's doing is i'd say quite a quite a more comfortable way of doing it you know it's not so like that it's not so sudden lets your body you know now now all he's got to do is just do like muscle training power lifting whatever like gain muscle but also he can eat like practically anything he wants which is great you know if he stays to a korean diet then he's gonna be one of the most healthiest people in the, in the world like you know he's gonna get that fat he's gonna get that sugar salt all of it all that good stuff inside of him and get the muscle so <laughs> hopefully he doesn't look like that <laughs> obviously a bit more of a model i'm so sorry i'm still ill What is this? I haven't even reacted to this. Chris, uh, do you? <laughs> you do look like Tom Hardy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, for this trailer, the part where it like zoomed in, even when I looked at it, I was like, oh, whoa, so this is what people meant when I looked like Tom Hardy, but yeah. I, I... Tom Hardy? I'll be the judge of that. I am one of Tom Hardy's biggest fans. I'll be the judge yeah, of that. I mean, I don't know, for this trailer, the part where it like zoomed in, even when I I can't. Why is it like a second? Ah! Hang on. Now you're questioning my bloody sanity. Does he look like? Uh... All right, hang on. Let me get. Let me get a little bit more justified with it. Um. Um. It's hard. 
Nah, I don't see it. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I'm going to be honest. And even when I looked at it, I was like, oh, whoa. So this is what people meant when I, I suppose. Like Tom Hardy. But yeah. It's not about perspective, I, I say. That too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll talk mm -hmm. about ads and when I acted and stuff. I actually filmed an ad for like a game company. I don't know where the video is. I've looked for it, but I couldn't find it. But um, even if you do find it, you probably won't recognize me, especially my voice, because that was when... I hit puberty really, really hard. I know that you guys know, but I hit puberty really, really late. Like when I was in like year 10, 11, I think, because it was my first or second grade of high school. So that's when my voice went really deep and it sounded really, really gross. And then the TMI would be, um, I found out really late, but apparently I had something wrong with me. <laughs> Year 10, 11. That is late. I, I can't even lie. Uh, <laughs> No, it's not. I just, I just had like a universal realization. I went, I, yeah, I, I went through puberty at like year 10 or 11. In my brain, I didn't register that because how old are you then? You're 15, 16. Oh my. I need to get a reality check quick, bro. Honestly. When he, when he was talking about you could hardly recognize me. You probably won't recognize me. Bro, I literally saw the advert. I was like, yo. What the hell? That is gross. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, some people just look like the se like too similar. To I don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. And then I had to fix it by um, taking surgery. But it was really, it was really funny because a week later, that's when like puberty hit. Like that's when my voice just broke. What did he need and, like, surgery for? That's when I started growing. So it was really, really strange and cool at the same time. But um, yeah, that's like a really surprising TMI. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but uh, yeah, something. To know about me, yeah. <laughs> Why did he go through surgery? You can't say TMI and then just goes, you know, it's had surgery. Have my leg chopped off. Give it to an alligator. Like you have to explain the whole story. Like what are you on about? <clears throat> uh, yes, yes, <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, Why do you want to say skinny? Oh. Yeah, because I, I I lost a lot of um. What do you say? Fat. That's a lot of weight. Um, I don't think I lost weight though. I think because my weight, the number, the kilograms is like the same. There's only like a one, two kilogram difference. Yeah. The hair. Yeah, it's silver, isn't it? It kind of looks gray. It looks kind of. <laughs> it's just like, I'm only finding this out now. What did I? I've never dyed my hair. Just thought I'd throw that out there. TMI. Violetti? Nah, it's silver. Yeah, it's silver. Barely have an appetite. I think that's one of the biggest reasons why I lose fat if I don't think about it too much. Because, like, most of the time I'm, like, forcing myself to eat because that's how much I lack of having an appetite. That's why I always try to force myself. Mm -hmm. Chris, how do you spend your days? I would say it's about conditionizing. So if you conditionize... Condition... Yeah, sure. If you use hair and sham shampoo and conditioner, no. If you conditionalize yourself to eating large amounts of food, your body will adapt to eating larger amounts. That, that that's how we gain fat, right? You know, I'm not I'm not going like, oh, these breadsticks are pretty. Oh, that garlic's pretty nice, and then be like, ah, do you know what? I shouldn't should be going, but I'm still hungry. But that you know that's literally due to how much we give ourselves on an average basis anyway. But do you know what? If you want to eat, fucking eat. It's all up to you. These days, um, I don't know. I've been I've been watching a lot of um stay content, like the content that you guys show. Like it could be reactions, it could be um just edits. You I, hear I that, guys? <laughs> um, fan arts. Yeah, I've I've been seeing a lot of fan arts. You guys draw me what into the is? things that I really like, and it just makes it feel really, really cool. Like sometimes game characters, um, animation characters, just me in in itself. I don't know, cause you guys are so good at drawing. It just surprises me so much. I've been seeing a lot of um Australian people reacting to our content, which is really um weird. I, I wouldn't say weird, but like it felt weird to have you know people from my home country to react to k-pop to react to stray kids just felt so strange maybe one day maybe one day eh? when will you get to the british people because ah! um you know when i hear australian people speak the australian language it just feels very very they have a language for me it just makes it feel really good so yeah thanks to all, all my mates down under for watching our content <laughs> i don't know if it would you know match to you guys's um taste but um yeah thanks for oh. reacting all right then yeah, it felt weird it felt really really Damn it. cool
cool and strange. Red Tamari comes um, in. <laughs> at the same time. At the, at the same time. At the same time. Yeah, you guys make my day. Woo. You're making me think about Australia. Nice. What the hell do I say to it? So, um, I've had this habit of um, listening to like the very small details in like songs or tracks. I first learnt that habit from a mate that you know we practice together. He is now you know a member of On and Off, and um, it's called Ito. He's you. But um, yeah. So uh, he told me how to how he does it, and I was like, oh wow, that's so cool. Because when we dance, you know, match to those sounds, it just makes it look cooler. And ever since then, I've been listening to songs by like really dividing each instrument like isolating each sound and that's become a habit and it really helps out when i make music too because you know it really gives me inspiration i learn a lot from you know listening to music as well so i think it's a really good habit for me to have i'd agree analyzing not only what industry you're in but analyzing other industries also for me for example i did a bit of beat making so i would you know go from listening to i don't know trippy red xx tentacion all these all these songs that what they're rapping on was created the same way that i wanted to get into kind of like that was a terrible explanation but so there is a, a software called fl studio you can make beats on there anyone can do it if you have enough money for a license which is like i think i paid like 200 like three years to go for it probably three times a week I i'd say it's a good exercise to do because you know you're using your creative outlet to it well it is a creative outlet which i think is healthy so i like to three times a week make beats but saying that with 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 that started to realize maybe within the first few months of music production or beat production as to say that you start like analyzing like just any song really and i'm not kidding like when i when i do this is why i thought it would be a great idea to do music video reactions because un understanding it on a like psycho and like that's why i like to like understand like the back things behind it and that's why i'm always impressed by some of the, the music production because you know it's not easy to make songs if you have a creative desire then you should always find an outlet for it that's what you should always do and another industry is film production i'm doing media i have no desire to really go into uh, like I, I basically i just want to do youtube and i think i did media because i just wanted to learn more about cameras lighting everything about being in front of the camera you don't really learn that much about being in front of the camera that's why I've, that's why i've always loved youtube because i've never found anything like youtube and that's why I've, that's why i think youtube's so perfect but what i'm saying is that i analyze films i analyze tv shows that like you you do it it's like it's like an unconscious habit and you know it goes to your subconscious and back to your conscious and you're just like ah fuck oh i really really wish i didn't know that was a jib shot or like uh oh that me on sand looks pretty nice uh, i'm terrible at explaining things but you know what i mean by it so yeah i, I oh oh we got we got seven seconds left yeah Sauce. All right. So that's the end of the video. My name is Fred. Just six. I really hope you. I really genuinely hope. Oh god, that sounds so sarcastic. I genuinely hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. If you've watched this one to the video, the secret word of the video is a batterage. No, it's battery. These are the batteries that charge up my camera. So all hail the charger uh battery you can't even stop. single word of the video is battery. Put it in the comments down below if you watched this one to the video. Also become a be a member of the channel, god damn it. Jesus, it's been long enough. Also, subscribe down below. Help me try and get to 5,000 subscribers. All of the copyrighted content or copyright claimed or potential claim will be on my Patreon. So become a Patreon down below. Also, helps out the channel. Helps out me in general, I suppose. And uh, yeah, with that being said, love you. And I'll see you. Take care of yourself. Uh, au revoir. Um, I'll see you on the flip flap side. I keep saying it on every outro. I fucking love you. Oh, I just saw... I just saw Spider-Man. The new one. <laughs> Beat my marriage. Okay, I right, fuck off. <laughs>